start your optical illusion inspired by the artist Jen Stark, we're first going to make a painting which will be the colorful part of your optical illusion. First, start by writing your name on the back of your painting paper. Don't forget to write your class code below your name. And we're going to paint our colors vertically. So we're going to use our paper landscape style so it's longer on the top and bottom. And then we're going to paint our colors in stripes. Before you start painting, make sure you have a messy mat, a water cup, a paintbrush, and your paints. I'm going to be using some neon paints and some regular watercolors. You can use any pattern of colors for this, but when we look at Jen Stark's work, we notice that she uses a lot of rainbow patterns. So I'm going to be painting mine in a rainbow pattern, but you can choose any colors that you like. Our goal here is just to fill up this entire piece of paper with color. So I'm painting again in stripes of color, trying to keep my colors right next to each other so they almost blend together when they touch. And I'm going to keep going until I get to the other side of my paper. Remember when you're using watercolors that the more water you use, the lighter your color will be. So here, if I'm painting with orange and I want it to be very light, I can use a lot of water. If I want it to be more bold and vibrant, then I just wanna use a lot more paint than water and I'm going to get a brighter color. Notice how I'm going back and forth with my paintbrush a few times to make sure that I get a lot of color on my paper. We don't want any white space left and we want our colors to blend nicely together. Remember when you get a new color, you need to clean off your brush so that our paints stay nice and clean. Once you're done with your painting, you can go ahead and put it on the drying rack to dry and clean up your painting supplies.